Well, Emmanuel Ogidi is a former national vice chairman at South South of the People's Democratic Party. And he joins us now to discuss the outcome of Thursday's meeting of the party's National Executive Council. Also to speak about the efforts to rebuild PDP and to deliberate, uh, take a deliberate look at the state of the nation and other things. Well, it's always good to have you. Welcome to Newsday, Emmanuel Ogidi. Yeah, thank you very much. How are you people? We're doing well. Thank you very much. Uh, so what do you make of the outcome of yesterday's uh, NEC meeting and uh, the uh, national chairman, uh, acting national chairman, Umar Damagum, remaining in his position? Yes, well, uh, you know, it was a successful one. Uh, recall that uh, on Wednesday, then about, uh, I was asked on uh, what is expected, just as it's expected. You see, the truth of the matter is that um, uh, every, all the stakeholders are interested in the growth of the party. And uh, there's nothing like, yes, you can disagree. Yes, we, we disagreed. But in that meeting, there were, you could not see, there were no, there were, there were no fist cuff. In other words, we followed through the program. I know that uh, you can even hear what the um, acting national chairman said. He is acting. He is a substantive deputy national chairman now. He's only acting until there's a chairman. Yes, you may say it's been taking too long, but again, there were issues in court. But thank God that uh, Dr. Ayu wanted the party to move forward has uh, resigned. Now, some, some people say, oh, why are you waiting till August uh, 15th? It's a process. And we have a timetable which the, the NEC approved. The Congress is that it's going to start midway in June, which will culminate March 15th, where we are going to have the NEC meeting. And in that meeting, we are going to approve all the results, all the Congresses, and maybe the North Central, that is a, a, that position is zone two, will come up, maybe will come up before them with a, their preferred candidate. And once they agree, once it is unanimous, then we are good to go. But you see, the interesting thing is this. I can tell you. Or you need to see the whole that day. Some of my, some of the stakeholders, some of uh, NEC members I've not seen for a long time. Look, it was a reunion for us, as far as we're concerned, it was a reunion. And uh, uh, it was well attended anyway. So, we're good to go. But no. the truth of the matter is that, you know, the anxiety, let me tell you why people were so anxious. Because APC has failed. So people are anxious. Look. PDP, what are you going to do? Giddy. Come and take over. And let us have life again. Yes, please. Mr. Ogidi, you said it was a reunion. You said it was yes. a reunion, but I'm wondering if it was a yes. sweet or bitter reunion. Because despite your assurances that uh, it seems peace has now been restored yes. in the PDP, I don't think all members are on board with this. Yes. Dino Malai posted a video on his no, ex-handle. No, 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 Mr. Ogidi, please hold on. He posted no. a video on his ex-handle showing a confrontation between himself and the former governor of Benue State, Samuel Otom. And he said, why will Otom attend a PDP meeting after declaring support for Tinumbu in 2027? Which is a valid question. Can there actually be peace and growth in your party? if you do not weed out the saboteurs. No, no, look, I told you. You see, we all don't read in the same way. And then, uh, you know, behavior. But the truth of the matter is that everybody, those who said, why did they come? It's because they, want, they have the party at heart. But again, some of the decisions reached at the neck is their main. Now, they will have the, uh, the, the subcommittee on reconciliation, which means there is disagreement in some areas, so which means we must reconcile, right? Then the disciplinary committee, for those who have erred, they will be sanctioned. And then, of course, 
there are some aspects of our constitution that has to be reviewed. Because even the constitution created some problems, some lapses. We need to update the constitution. So you see, for me, I was quite 90% because I look at the future. You see, it's not a quick fix. I want us to understand that. It is not a quick fix. That's why we are dealing with human beings. So, you know, we, we have to reconcile. But the truth of the matter is that we need to work hard and take away the APC. That is one that concerns most of us. I will do whatever it takes to ensure that we get, we get to that level. Well, so let not the be troubled. We're on top of it. Well, well hopefully some That That's the we're giving our party members and, in fact, Nigerians. Yes, please. Well, hopefully some of your party members don't also work I'm to listening. make sure that the APC stays in power, as has been seen previously. But uh, specifically, uh, Minister Wike and uh, Atiku Abubakar, we know that they were both present uh, at the meeting. Could you... Uh, you, and you said it's not an overnight fixing in order to address some of the issues yes, within yes, the party. What is at stake if yes. they're not able to hash out their disagreements, uh, especially before the new national chairman is uh, voted on down the line? No, 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 no. Who we'll fix it? Uh, you know, you see, the other time I said PDP is a big family. Uh, some people just think that uh, I'm making it light, you know. The truth of the matter is that PDP is a big family. And in any big family, there will be disagreement. I think that disagreement can strengthen the unity. You, you see, when questions were asked and then there was explanation, people accepted it. So, for me, it's, if they had not explained it, then you say there's a problem. And of course, like in understanding issues, not everybody will uh, understand issues at the same time. No. Some it takes them time. But for some of us who are well, we say the old hand in this business, we could see through it even before it starts. After all, in, uh, even in the developed countries, they fight. They use weapons. But there was nothing like that. We walked into the place. If you know the hype, if you know the hype that day, oh, the house was going to, the roof was going to come down. Nothing like that happened. Do you know something? Nothing will happen that the roof didn't come down. The enemies of PDP, they're not happy too. So they are going to fester you. We know that. So that's why we have to manage it. You know, I keep giving this example. Because it's a family, we have to be very careful how we bruise ourselves. And that is why the reconciliation committee will start their job immediately and reconcile. I'm not saying there are no issues, don't get me wrong, there are issues, but it will be resolved. That's the most important thing. Very well said. Because we're in a hurry to take over from this government. Very well said, Mr. Ogidi. Now what at the say? end, I said very well said. Now at the end of the meeting, you know, the PDP's Thank National you. Executive Council faulted President Bola Tinumbu's policies, saying it has caused worsening in security, yes. hunger, and hardship in the land. But the APC believes your party, the PDP, yes. should be more focused on an internal examination and cleansing of all issues that has turned your party into a shadow of itself, instead of casting on befitting aspersions <laughs> on the APC. Well, well they, look, look, you see, they should they should leave us. You know what I mean. They should leave no, but us. you you tr you we truly are, are, you are, launched no. the attack. They simply responded. No, yeah, we are we are what we are throwing at them is reality. You know what I'm talking about. Look, I, let, let me tell you something. Before this time, you could travel all over Nigeria, but now <laughs> you you have to think twice before you move. So, <laughs> and they have been in power now for one point to nine years. This is the, by the end of, by by May 29, there will be nine years in office. Within 16 years, there was joy. But again, trust human beings. They were expecting more. They said, well, let us change. 2015 they changed. Now look at the disaster. So what are we talking about? Look, they have no excuse. 
They said it's their turn. They have been given the turn, even though the turn was not given, uh, you know, they, they ran away with the turn. They grabbed the turn. So, that's the issue. Hello. Okay, so Mr. Ogiri, you know, I can see that you're having some issues, you know, probably with electricity or something over there. You know, but I'm wondering how you would describe the state of the nation at the moment, especially with efforts on going to stabilize the Naira, curb insecurity and boost the economy. Would you say the country is on the right track? Very, very briefly, please, in less than 60 seconds. Look, 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 look. We have heard all of these things. You remember in this first this speech, when he removed the, the subsidy, he said it was palliative. Where is the palliative? Yeah, they are bringing up all types of theories now. We, we pray for them to let it work because Nigerians are suffering. So it's a serious matter. Let these things work. We cannot be experimenting now. The world has gone far. Well, on that, note, experiment. on that note, we would have to thank you for coming in and speaking with us today. Emmanuel Ogidi, former PDP National uh, Secretary, thank you so much for joining us.